Welcome back everybody to another skating video today. Very special. We have Ari, the stuttering skater, live in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's it's not live. It's not live. It's we're live right now though, so it works. But yeah, we are live right now. <laughs> but I would just want to say thank you to all the subscribers, thank you to all the members that support me every single week. It might be a little bit loud at times. We're kind of on a rinky dink budget setup. And Ari's gonna go ahead and skate while I keep talking. Um, so just thank you everybody. And uh, what am I missing? Hit the like button. Is that a mouse? Did you see that? There was a mouse over there. Yeah. I know you're used to them because you live in New York. So in New York, we actually have rats. Oh, rats. So I, 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 feel, I feel kind of at home, but not quite. <laughs> yeah. That's my first time actually seeing a mouse or a rat or really? anything. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. Thank you guys again for all the support and hit the like button and today we're going to be interviewing Ari and kind of just talking to him a little bit asking him about his skate history and I don't want to bore you guys let's just get into it while we ride up this nice fancy escalator so oh where are you going I'm taking the stairs so he's going to take the stairs apparently so Ari um how did I work you hard. okay he works hard apparently how did you begin roller skating? What is your backstory? Uh, so I come from a hockey background, a nice hockey background, actually. Um, and <laughs> uh, it's all good. We got it. And um, I began playing ice hockey when I was 18. Okay. I was living in Colorado at the time, and I loved it. That's uh, cool. I didn't know you lived in Colorado. Yeah, I, I was in Colorado for uh, for school to become a rabbi, essentially. Okay. So. I was in yeshiva there for three years, cool, close to three years. So um, started playing ice hockey there, and then I played ice I'm hockey. Not, not. Okay, I'm sorry. I Yo, I thought Vegas. nobody cares. This is Vegas. I thought it was a very good <laughs> microphone, a good <laughs> but <laughs> apparently we're under budget. He's today. clowning me now. <laughs> That's like all I do. It's like half my brand right there. <laughs> um, and um, yes. Well, I would play ice hockey like three times a week at least. Right. Um, Take the escalator this time. Gonna go down the escalator? Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> fine, we'll go down the escalator. Um, and uh, yeah, so I, uh, I would pull ice hockey about three times a week and then at, and everything shut down at the beginning of COVID. Right. Um, I wasn't able to skate at all and I was, went out of my mind um, so I ordered a pair of rollerblades on Amazon and started skating and, and what year was that 2020 say, 2021 2020 okay so before then you really just hadn't owned a pair of skates yourself so I like I owned a pair of skates as a kid yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but like didn't like actively skate in the slightest right. it was just, just like like I was a part of that had I would say for probably around half a year or so. Makes sense. Um, I like they did a occasionally at a little, like a rink or something, but I wasn't like in the sport. If that makes sense. No, that makes sense. And so, do you find that you enjoy roller skating more than you enjoy like what you did with hockey? That's a really good question and a really hard question. Um, they're very. Different. I love them both a lot. Um, that's a tough question, honestly. Um, never thought about it, huh? Never really thought of it in that context. I love the freedom that skating gives me now. It's like I can, I don't have to be like low, locked into like a skate rink, yeah, like an ice rink. Yeah, yeah. I can, you know, just wherever I want, and I love that element of freedom, but I also uh, really miss hockey at the same time. So yeah. yeah, it's definitely like a fine line. I can I can get behind that with because um, I don't I mean, you know, I like skating in the skate rinks in D.C. where I'm from, and I can kind of definitely get that same feeling where it's like it's nice to have the freedom to go anywhere and skate the city yeah. and have no restrictions. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. We like no restrictions. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, so what? Uh, let's go this way. What is? Uh, what's your thoughts about Las Vegas? You know that I'm from here. I was born and raised here. Oh, I most, know that. yeah, most of my subscribers know. 
I'm um, a great friend. I'm a great friend. <laughs> he knows so much about me. Uh, but no, uh, what's your first impressions? Like, what do you think about the nightlife here? All that stuff. Um, so I, I haven't experienced a lot of the nightlife, to be honest, because uh, I had a lot of work to do. Um, this guy's always working. He's a hard worker. Well, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying to pay my bills, honestly, and that's about it. Um, and that's the only way I know how at the moment. Um, I am for Eshens are are good. It's oh, Jesus, those, those girls always get in the way. <laughs> mm, I make no comment. <laughs> um, it's it's cool how everything is like centered around like phenomenal architecture and a lot of art. It's a little expensive. Very expensive. But you're used to that because you're from New York. I, I was expecting it to be a little less so, <laughs> but uh, anyway. But yeah, no, no, it's nice. Everyone, for the most part, is nice. Um, let's go up here. Let's go up here. And yeah, it's cool. A lot of people are going to be upset because, uh, just to let you guys know a little backstory, this interview is kind of haphazard and last minute-ish, so I didn't prepare questions too well. So don't get mad if I don't ask the right question. What do you think people would want to know about you? What do you get? What do you get the so, most? So you're just like to taking all of that responsibility and shifting it over to me. Exactly. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you would know best what people want to know. You know. Uh, people want to know where I get my skating style, maybe. Um, which uh, I wouldn't say it's style. Uh, as in, like, it, it, it's well, just... Well, do you want me to tell you, like, what I think your style is? Let me, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Let me hold this real quick. My hand's getting a little tired. Oh, Are you going to hold it? Oh, dang. Make him do all the work. I would feel like your skating style is kind of more, like, hockey background. Yeah. Quick speed and quick movement. Yeah. And that's what I picture it. Okay. What would um, you describe it as? Yeah. I like speed. Definitely uh, inspired by hockey, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and I like, like... I enjoy like maximum power, um, so like relatively efficient movements, um, and I I really enjoy flow. Um, I don't like you know sh short and kind of like segmented skates. I like to have like flow. It's yeah. it's that's that's what I. You know, I think you should start trying to skate at more rinks. I know New York doesn't have like the best rinks, but there's one in Brooklyn that was pretty good. That I didn't get to go to Prospect Park. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And I would try and go there if I were you, because me, I'm. It's all about the flow for me as well. And I mean, you've seen how I skate, and I learned all my style basically from rink skaters, right. like quad skaters. Right, right. I try to imitate what they do. Yeah. To an extent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I I've been like trying to get into quad skating a little bit as well. Um, it's just that, like, he can't, like, my style doesn't really lend yeah. itself to the mechanics of a roller skating that are a little bit more nuanced, mm -hmm. um, where it's like, if you, you try to do something at a crazy high speed on cool pause and you don't really have the know-how, yeah. like, I've almost hurt myself pretty oh, yeah. For sure badly with that so that's why i try not to do quads as much i do quads a little bit but even like at the rink i'll just ride my inlines but i'm still doing quad-esque style mm, okay you know all right okay that kind of makes sense yeah that's interesting well, we can keep going down if you want okay cool yeah i'm in thanks for giving my hand a little uh rest <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> we're not even that far down the ship i don't know how long we're gonna go for guys you're trying to get in their picture or get out of it <laughs> In it. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ari is only here for a couple days, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. We'll, we'll take what we can get, and we're happy we get the opportunity nonetheless. Let me know uh, down in the comments what you guys, if you were here, what you would ask him because, I mean, me and Ari have talked a lot, and I kind of don't really have a lot of questions for you, man. Like, I just enjoy your style. I enjoy your skating. I think Woo. you make good content, Woo. you know? I'm so, so flattered. I enjoy your style, but I, it's not something that I would ever do. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, give us a little, give us a little, uh, 
Go ahead, go. All right, we're gonna showcase Ari. He's just gonna skate the packed cities of Las Vegas Strip. Don't get hurt now. <laughs> it's pretty packed down here, huh? A little bit. I was trying to get you in this shot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And you almost stabbed that guy. Did I? Nah, he's good. No, not really. He just had a... He had a face? He had a dramatic reaction. Oh, okay. That's okay. He'll get over it. <laughs> I think he believes... He belongs in Hollywood or whatever. Hollywood. Get on this side. My other side. So what other questions do you think the fans want to know? This is your chance to answer everything once and for all. Oh my god, it's, it's so much pressure. Um, a lot of people ask me about my stutter, so... Oh yeah, yeah, talk about that, that's a good idea. Maybe I should talk about that. Talk about your stutter. I'm in charge of the microphone now. How <laughs> how close do I want to my good mouth? Fine, okay. Okay, cool, Not so, all right. Just talk, you're good, you're good. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so sputtering actually runs in my family. It is genetic, but everyone else who stuttered um, had a fairly mild stutter or it like went away when they became an adult. Um, so, um, we're good. You see, in New York, if anyone asks you anything, you just ignore them. Yeah. Harry, you're a little bit more polite. <laughs> so everybody in your family was more mild? No, well, yeah. So, like, my my great uncle stuttered. My uncle stuttered. Um, a couple of my brothers stuttered a little bit. But when I was about five and a half years old, um, I had a pretty bad concussion, um, and I I don't remember like um, I have a break in my memory from that accident, um, and about three to four months after that, I started to develop a stutter, um, and yeah, that was when you were five. That was when when I was like five and a half or six. And what, how did that happen? How'd you get the concussion? Okay, so I was climbing up the stairs on the other side of the banister at my house, and uh, I slipped and fell and uh, hit my head. And this is all, like this is all allegedly because <laughs> you don't remember. I don't remember it. <laughs> but so it just dropped you on your head. And yeah, you yeah, yeah. Be like, whoops! Yeah, he totally just the banister. Um, just got him. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's it. Hey, how are you? Uh, and, um... You're supposed to keep... At, at the beginning, he said, oh, keep track of how many times I randomly say hi to people. <laughs> and we forgot to do that. <laughs> if you guys want to play along, count how many times he said hi to people or stuttered. And I want to... Stuttered? Yeah, I want to see if anybody can get it right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to, to count how many times I've stuttered is a little mean, okay? <laughs> let's... Whoa. <laughs> Let's not go it's down that fun, road. It's a fun game. For yeah, people, but, but yeah, yeah, but like the, the, you don't have to read the comments. But the, the counter, I always read the comments. The, <laughs> the, the counter is just gonna go like through the roof, insane. <laughs> well, um, that's a good thing to know. You always read the comments, so if somebody comments on something. Yeah, guys. See. You might not always respond like me, but at least you're gonna see it. So that's nice. Oh, you know. gee, I just like I tr I had to respond to comments on I tr I had to respond to every comment I get on YouTube if I have. The time yeah um on instagram i try to but it's hard it's hard it, it's just you know if you, you want to get a hold of your ask me a cool question it would be um significantly easier uh to just message me and i'll sure. i'll answer but yeah anyway um yes i've been stuttering for um, most of my life, and hey guys, how are you? There's two, at least two. I don't know how many we're at. I, I think we're oh, at let's go down here, here really four. Cool. They're gonna kick us out, but it'll be fun. It'll be worth it. Go, go, go. This is the link. 
Wow, it's the link. This is the promenade. It, it leads to the link. Hi. <laughs> I think that counts. She was not, she she, was not happy with us. She was not happy with it. <laughs> All right, let's not get oh, yeah. railroaded. Already getting. Oh, are we? What is that? Wait, what? Can I walk like this? Yeah, it counts. No. The L? <laughs> it's all good. I'm just. I'm Wait, just what? It doesn't, it doesn't I'm count. It doesn't count. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I appreciate it. Take care, man. Oh, oh, it's part of seniors' policy. No worries. You, you know, seniors. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's all good. Yeah. I love seniors, though. What's that? I, I love seniors, though. Caesar, no, Caesars. Oh, oh, Caesars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. He's new here. He's new here. He's okay. New here. I'm sorry about that. I'm it's sorry. No, no, it's all good. We're fine. I told you we could have kicked out immediately. Yeah. If we got down there, it would have been really cool. Whoops. It could have. Hi. Jeez, nobody's happy with us. And then you're saying hi on top of that? Well, hey, yo, if you're going to stare at me, I'm going to say hi. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Doesn't matter. Hi. <laughs> Does not matter the context in the slightest. It's just like, it's like, oh. Whoa, what are we at here? Let's see. Damn, 17 minutes? Whoa! Hey, so we, might to, we might have to call it. So much content. Woo! That's a lot of content. Let's see. Do you have anything left to say to the fans? Um. Uh, well, yeah. I was t t telling my st oh, yeah, finish, finish. story about stuttering. Jesus. Okay. One thing that people who stutter absolutely hate is people who try to finish their sentences. So, okay. if you meet anyone who has a communication challenge of any kind uh, just try to be a little patient with them uh, and don't complete their sentences it can be fairly humiliating t t to them I would say um, and yeah just like show a little bit of patience and empathy it goes a long way That's good to know. Um, and yeah it's great but I will say a lot of people think my name on Instagram is the stuttering skater because of how I skate and like I do a lot oh, of really? like <laughs> short yeah, yeah, yeah. hockey movements. Yeah. But uh, and then I like tell them that I actually stutter and they're like really confused. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the actual reason why my name is the stuttering skater. Uh, if you want to make a donation to the American Institute for Stuttering. Uh, Squid will put a link in the bio, I, I think, I, I hope, I will. I will. Um, and yeah, if like any donation helps uh, with, you know, giving people who stutter regardless of their socioeconomic status access to great resources in order to get um, the speech therapy that has helped me like a whole lot. So That's yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I'll definitely put the link. Is there anything that you want uh, that you want your viewers to know about you, Squid? About me? Um, I'm I'm taking over the interview. Oh, taking it over. Uh, let's see about me. That's tough. Uh, I think now he knows how it feels. One thing I would say is that I get a lot of comments that ask me why I don't skate a certain style or why I don't do wizard skating, or why I don't do this or that. And one thing I'd want to say is that, you know, I've been skating for over 10 years, and for me, it's like I've had my style when nobody else is skating, so I'm not really going to change what I'm doing. You know what I mean, unfortunately. Yeah, that's I fair. I don't mind trying out other things and just giving it a shot, but at the same time, to expect me to do something else, it's like, it's kind of frustrating because I'm like, Look, I just do what I do, and like, if you don't like it, and it is what it is. I love you, but yeah, I, 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 you know, I think it all comes out of this. Everyone should skate because it's a really good time. Yeah. For in whichever way that they want, yeah. and if it's to do aggressive skating, or if it's to roller skate, or if it's you know to do anything like that's what they should do. So, yeah, man. Do you have anything left to say? Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs>
Well, thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed listening to Stuttering Skater and learning about him. I'm sorry I wasn't super prepared. Ask your, co- your questions and comments below. Um, again, thank you to all the members and the subscribers that tune in every week. I know it's a little loud out here. Um, hit the like button. Please go follow Stuttering Skater on Instagram and YouTube. All of it, all of his information. You're starting to wear off on me. He, he has a stutter now, too. <laughs> all of his stuff is going to be in the description below. Welcome to the family. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, please check him out. And, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully that this came out well. I know it's kind of crazy in Vegas. The camera angles might have been weird. The audio might have been, like, crazy. I know there's music playing right now. But regardless of that, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, that's about it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace out. Give him a peace sign. There we go. Don't forget to ring that notification bell.